hello everyone so today in this video we will discuss how to configure microsoft clarity into your wordpress website so just log into your wordpress admin and now first we need to log into microsoft clarity so before that we need to navigate to google and we search for microsoft clarity here like this and just open the official microsoft website yes this clarity.microsoft.com so first we need to sign in okay you can sign in with your microsoft id yes i just sign in wait for a second okay yes here okay i just sign in here with my old microsoft outlook email id you can create a new email id or login with google anything which you want okay so here microsoft clarity is successfully uh, created account i created account okay so now here i need to enter the website name okay so it's basically a clarity project we need to uh, enter clarity project name just same like google analytics and we have to enter the website address complete address with https and www okay so i just created this project here like this and i need to install this code manually so just copy this code and go to wp admin and go to theme file editor in appearance and if you are using single theme then you can just go to footer.php file and if you are using a parent theme then you parent and child theme then you need to go to parent theme first and then go to footer.php and here just after this body tag you need to paste this code just like we did in the google analytics setup yes same as, as it is okay so here the code is successfully installed in this website so let me just open the website and give it a hard refresh so that the website code updates okay so it might take few minutes or a little more like few hours in updating the code not updating but start collecting the data on website visitors so basically in microsoft clarity it shows us the uh, complete overview of the website like where visitor is navigating where what actions they are uh, performing in the website like where they clicking and uh, how much page scroll or what things uh, are they are reading so just yeah here it is activated and it start collecting the data so in the recordings tab you can see that live recordings you just open that here as you can see i just open this website okay waiting for additional user activity so see i just open this post and okay i just selected this text so it starts showing me exact data in the microsoft clarity so this is an amazing tool uh, that is helpful to uh, you know with the help of microsoft clarity we can analyze the user behavior on the website like where they are perform what actions they are performing especially in e-commerce website like what is the barrier they are facing when placing any order or in the sales okay and in case of blogs it is also very much helpful okay yeah but uh, here in my case clarity is not completely updated because i am just uh, performing this test function or the this web page is still open so it might get updated within few minutes after i close this page so i hope it is pretty much clear now and how this microsoft clarity works as analytics so it shows the website complete with user performs so or user intent actions in the website so i suggest you to use microsoft clarity if you have any questions drop them in the comment box thank you